Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Visa Pass. And GQ's premium channel about all things women's football. And the RFEF have fired back against Jenny Hermoso, the Spain national team players, the former players, and of course, FootPro, as they have just released a statement here. This was released in actuality in the middle of the night when everybody was asleep. So I guess they thought they were slick, but. It has definitely already made its rounds and this is just a damning statement by the RFEF as they've pretty much gone out of their way to protect and to secure the post of Luis Rubiales here. And I'm just going to link the entire statement for you here in the description of the video so you can read it in its entirety. But here I'm just going to pick at some very interesting excerpts here that I think are worth reading out and pretty much just discussing in detail here. So the statement again is very long, but pretty much uh, a TLDR here or summary of the entirety of it is that the Federation is backing Rubiales and at the same time they are threatening or pretty much have guaranteed legal action against Hermoso and FootPro and I would like to think also the players who have revolted against the Spanish National Federation here in light of the accusations that have been lobbied against Rubiales here. So this is pretty much what has been said in the statement again these just like key parts and i'm reading them verbatim so quote in the union's note it is said to speak on behalf of mrs jennifer hermoso and some statements by the player are attributed to her that are in quotation marks implying that they have been pronounced by her the rfef wishes to inform public opinion that the competent bodies of the rfef that are processing the complaints filed to the federation have tried to contact Ms. Jennifer Hermoso, having been unsuccessful at all times. The RFEF announces the presentation of as many legal actions as may correspond in defense of the honorability of the president of the RFEF, who has exposed in a clear and simple way how the events that are the cause of conflict and ridicule on the part of broad sectors of the society occurred. Society against Mr. President. The note says, quotation marks attributed to Mrs. Jennifer Hermoso, I want to clarify that as seen in the images and no time did I consent to the kiss he gave me and of course in no case did I raise, seek to raise the president. I do not tolerate that my word is questioned, much less that words are invented that I have not said. In a rule of law, as the president has defended, opinions are counted with facts and evidence and lies are rebutted in court. The president of the RFEF has wanted to take the issue with the utmost respect for the players and the institutions and only when an unassumable red line has been crossed has he come out publicly to give his version of the facts. The president's version of events is verified in the eternal files that have been opened and to date Mrs. Jennifer Hermosa has not responded to any of the requests made and the first demonstration that the facts exposed by Mr. President are absolutely true and that he is not lying, we are going to begin to provide them in this statement with the images that accompany it. So as you can see there, the RFEF is pretty much backing Rubiales wholeheartedly here and that is a very bold move if I do say so myself. Uh, it is definitely not within my position to say that it's a good move or a bad move because it's pretty obvious what this kind of a move is. It's a power play in my opinion because they are pretty much just wanting to show the power that they have against the players in spite of the media and global backlash that they are facing. They want to stay headstrong and steadfast in their decisions and pretty much they don't want to admit that there is fault in the situation, which is a very sad sight to see. And it is really damning to say that you believe everything that your president has said simply on the basis that he submitted a couple of photos and you've pretty much decided to go see CSI Miami on everyone and just try to say like, oh, look at what his feet are doing here. Look at what the player is doing here. As you can see on your screen there with the different descriptions that the RFEF have provided and claim to use those as facts against uh, Hermoso, who you also claim to have not responded, in which case we don't know if that's true or not. If she has not responded, you'd understand why, given the turbulent nature of the situation, but you'd also have to ask yourself, why hasn't she responded if that's the case? And if it does turn out to be a situation where she has responded, but the RFEF have ignored her responses, then that's just going to put way more egg on the face of the RFEF and Rubiales himself. But that is just a very awful situation that 
the federation and the players and Hermosa herself do find themselves in. As you can see here with the descriptions, again, I think it's just really trying to grasp at straws here, doing your best to do a CSI Miami impression, like I said earlier. As you can see here with the descriptions, photo one, uh, the RF RFEF says that Miss Jennifer Hermosa with the arms grabs the RFEF president from behind while Mr. President has his arms loose on the upper part of the player's back. Therefore, no force could exert. You can see how Mr. President has the heels of his feet raised slightly. I mean, what kind of nonsense is that? You, you really cannot use these four still pictures to try and justify your point that she wasn't sexually harassed or whatever like pictures do tell a thousand words but a thousand words don't tell the whole story i'm sorry to say but that's just the reality of the situation here and really it's 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 sad to see the rfef going this low essentially to try and justify and clear the name of Luis rubiales this situation has definitely gone just nuclear and it's it's a shame really because again Spain as a nation, as the players, as a federation should be celebrating their first ever World Cup win for the women. But unfortunately, this is the situation they face and it's a sad sight. So, yeah, again, this is just an update on the situation. My opinions are the ones that I've stated in this video in the private video, which I'll link if you haven't watched it. But it's, it's definitely a turbulent time in the Spanish football world. So hopefully there can be some consensus reached soon enough because this rebuttal by the RFEF is definitely huge and will definitely have huge ramifications. As we've already seen, because even on the men's side, there have been players who have come out, the likes of Hector Berin and Isco have come out in support of the women as well as fellow compatriots such as Boja Iglesias, who has stepped down voluntarily from the men's national team until the issue has been resolved, aka until Rubiales and his courts leave the RFEF. So it's good to see some solidarity with the women there by the Spanish men's players there. And of course, the fellow women from across the globe have shown their support, the likes of Alex Morgan and Sigurnovic and other players from across the world have shown their support for the Spanish national team, especially for Jenny Hermoso here. So it is definitely good to see the solidarity by players from both the men's side and the women's side of the beautiful game here. So hopefully there will be some resolutions, but this story is definitely going to be unfolding over the course of the next week or two. Maybe we'll get another rebuttal by the other side today. Who knows? But anyway, Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I'll, I'll make another video as soon as an update has been posted. So, yeah, just stay linked here.